Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 71 of chapter 6. Determine the reactions that support A, C and E of the compound beam. So this beam has three members, member A, B, B, C, D and member D, E. So I need to draw three free body diagrams. So I need to draw three beams. And beam A, B, the shortest beam. So I, I'm going to apply my forces here for the beam on the right. I have 12 kN. I have a rocker support at E, so I have a reaction in Y. And at D, it's a pin, so I have one reaction in X and one reaction in Y. I do not know the direction, but I'm going to assume a positive value here. And if I get a negative value, that means the direction I assumed is incorrect. Because there are action and reaction, so dx and dy here would be the opposite direction. Then I have my reaction at C. Again, it's a rocker, so it only has reaction in y direction. At B, I have bx and by, and the opposite of that would be on my beam AB. I have a resultant force acting on the beam and at A I have AX, AY as well as moment. So let's label these 12 kilonewton here. I have EY, I have DX, DY and the opposite direction would be DY and DX because these are internal forces that are action and reaction. If I add these two beam together then they're these internal loads would go away. Then I have CY. I have my resultant force here, FR. So the magnitude is 3. The length is 6. It's uniform. So I have 18 kN would be the resultant force. Here I have BX and BY. BY and BX. I have AX and AY in addition to reaction moment because A is a fixed support. So you can see if I add these beams together, the reaction, uh, the internal forces would go away. So I drew a free body diagram for member AB, another free body diagram for member BCD, and another free body diagram for member. DE. Three free body diagrams. So if we look at our free body diagrams, we can see that we have uh, one, we have EY as an unknown, DX and DY. So three CY would be four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine unknowns. We have three free body diagrams. So each free body diagram is going to give us three equations. So we are going to have nine equations. So we can solve this problem. But which free body diagram do we need to start first? If you look at it, if you look at member AB, for this free body diagram, you can see we have six unknowns. So we really can't solve it. And for the free body diagram in the middle, we have five unknowns. So we can't solve that either. But the free body diagram on the right, we only have three unknown. So I can solve the unknowns and then move from right to the left. So let's write our equations here. For each free body diagram, I'm going to have three equations. So I'm going to start with summation of forces in x equals zero. Dx would be zero. I don't have any other forces. Summation of moment about point D equals zero. This distance is three meter. This distance is six meter. I need these, the dimension for moment about point D. Uh, the force EY is creating a positive moment and the moment arm is six. So EY moment arm six minus the 12 kN is creating a negative moment, clockwise moment, zero. So I will get the value for EY 
to be 18 kilonewtons. And if I write summation of forces in y equals zero, I can find dy. I have dy, ey, I have 18, and I have negative 12. So dy would be negative six kilonewtons. Because it's negative, that means the direction I assumed is incorrect, but I'm not gonna go and change my free body diagram. Now that we found dy and dx, so we have these two information using moving forward to the next free body diagram. Now I have only three unknowns and I can find three unknowns by three equations. Here, I'm gonna write summation of moment about point B, counterclockwise to positive. My force FR is gonna create a clockwise motion. So it would be creating a negative moment. So the magnitude is 18 negative moment moment arm is three the total distance is six so half of that would be three this is three meter from um, c would be four meter and the total would be six meter then i will have my fourth cy it's creating a positive moment moment arm four then i have dy it's creating a negative moment a moment arm would be six. I know the value of dy would be negative, so when I plug in the negative value, I will uh, get a, a positive at the end. But here, dy would be negative six. If I plug in, the only unknown would be cy. Therefore, cy would be 4.5 kN. Now I just need to write summation of forces in x and y to find the other unknowns. So summation of forces in x equals zero, therefore bx would be zero. Summation of forces in y equals zero, I will get by to be 7.5 kN. So I found three more unknowns. Now with the value that I know, if I move to the other free by diagram, then I can find the rest of values. I start with summation of forces in x equals zero, then ax is zero, summation of forces in y equals zero. I can find ay to be 7.5 kilonewton, and summation of moment about point A, I assume counterclockwise to be positive. I have the moment ma, which is positive. By is creating a negative moment. The magnitude is 7.5. Moment arm three equals zero, therefore MA is 22.5 Newton meter. So I found all the unknowns using three free body diagrams.